the Bible says in St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 19, And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Now, I want to stop right there, and there's another scripture there that says that he had need that he must go through Samaritan. You ever read that? Amen. So Jesus had uh, a trip, and uh, then they, uh, he said, And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. Do you know it's a shame and disgrace that God bless his people, Brother Doug, with plenty, and they can't recognize Jesus for a little bit. There you go. Why, Jesus is the most particular thing of our life. I'm going to trust him. I'm going to believe him. I'm going to follow him. I'm going to serve him. Amen. You know how glad I never was dignified. We had a, used to have a singing on Saturday night in River Valley Church and uh, every Saturday, the first Saturday night. And we come through Glen Elfin one night and I was behind this bus of little singers from South Carolina. And it was a pouring rain and their bus tore up right there as you get to Glen Elfin School and come right up on the top of the hill. And out there's a place that there ain't many cars no how, no work. So I got out and asked them, and they said something happened to it, and it quit running, and I had a suit on, white shirt and all, and in that good rain and all, I just got down on my back, slid under the bus to see what was going on, to help the people. You know, a lot of people say, well, I got my good clothes on, I don't want to help them, but you know, it never hurt my suit. My shirt never got messed up to where I couldn't wear it again. But I got out there in the horn, the wiring horn is the arm underneath the thing. It set a fire and burnt the whole wiring horn. First state patrolman come by, and he said, you need to get this thing out of the road down. We've got a block in the road here. And I said, why don't you go over here on Interstate 40 and catch somebody's doing something for anything but so long. We love God, and we're going to sit here as long as we need to. He got back in his patrol car and left. Well, wow, preacher, I've been afraid to say it. I ain't afraid to say nothing. Nobody's smart in it. Amen. He needed to get over there and miss Barnett before somebody needed to catch him. We wasn't need to catch him. We done tore up. Flopdale come over and got him and took it in. Well, I said that to say this. Why can't we love and help one another no matter what it costs us? Amen. Come on, amen. We're living in a world that's going to live here one time. We're going to heaven where it's going to be just a one trip. Amen. And boy, I'll be glad when that bus comes by. Amen. Hey, but a lot of you looking at me like, I don't want to go right now. I've got this and I've got that. You ain't got nothing if you don't have Jesus. Amen. 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 If you don't have him, you don't have nothing. I, I, I consider I've got a nice little home to live in. Amen. I've got a nice little wife to carry me some drink once in a while. You don't know the rest of your life too much because you do the same thing. Helen, bring me something. <laughs> and the Bible said in verse 4, And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. I wonder what you'd do today to see him if he'd hear he's coming by. Amen. I don't know whether you're going to like it or not, but he's going to come by here this morning. Amen. He's here. Amen. Brother Ben, he's here. Amen. That little boy back there, so he's here, ain't he, brother? Amen. <laughs> and when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. What was it the man said over there when he had a young one that needed healing? I'm not worthy for you to come. But Jesus said, I can just speak the word and he'll be healed. Amen. 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 Don't worry about tomorrow because I'm going to tell all of you something and I hope you already know tomorrow never comes. 
You wake up in the morning, you're going to say, I'll see you tomorrow. Amen. You wake up the next day, I'll see you tomorrow. But tomorrow's always tomorrow, always tomorrow. But Jesus is always here today. Amen. Already, on time. Uh, little Becky that sat over here, she liked that song, reading them songs. Uh, there comes Jesus, right on time. And he made haste and came down and received him from man. Are you following me? I've got a few there. Yeah, joyfully. And when they saw it, they all numbered, saying that he was gone to be guest for the man that is a sinner. Well, what did Jesus say? He didn't come for you and I. He's already saved. He come for that man who's lost. Amen. Am I reading this right now? Brother yeah. Lance, he said he comes to seek and to save that which is lost. Yeah. Amen. And he's done got us. Thank God. Amen. amen. Boy, I'm amen. telling you what's truth. I look at this young generation. And don't all you young people get mad. And I'm not, I ain't called your name yet. If I do, you can pop your bubble gum. <laughs> but I really look at this young generation. And I'm so glad, Brenda, that God saved me back yonder in 1959. Because the way I was headed, the way I was doing, what I do, and I didn't care what it was. Why well, I'd have been in prison, locked up for rape and everything else, and don't none of you look around because ain't none of you perfect. That's right. right. Amen. You tell. Right. Amen. But Jesus come by. He did. Amen. And I was sitting there on that bench. And I saw him when he come up by, and I said, i got to have him. And he asked Louise, I told the preacher, you don't have to preach all night what you're talking about. I need that, didn't I? Amen. I, amen. And I got up, and I got him, Brother Arnold. Amen. A lot of people say, do you know, as the fellow said the other day, he said, well, preacher, I don't believe you believe like I do. I said, how do you believe? Well, you get saved, and six months later, you get sanctified, and about a month or a year or two later, you get the Holy Ghost. I said, Funny thing to me, I got it all that night, but I had to do a whole lot of repentance since then. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Come on, amen. What if you got saved and didn't get the Holy Ghost and died? Amen. Come on now, for church. Do you read the Bible as a, a monkey book or a, a long range or a scene or something, or do you read it as pure result? Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, Arnold, when you come to the altar, was sitting right there waiting on you. And when you asked him, they all three came in. Amen. 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 And when they come in, they took their abode. 